Welcome, Believers family. We are so glad you're here today, and we welcome you from all over the world. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's just start out with our confession as we always do. That's right. Here we go. I'm quick. I'm I'm sharp. sharp. I'm I'm bright. bright. I'm I'm good looking. looking. I'm strong. I'm I'm healed. I'm I'm very rich. And I'm I'm a major major blessing. Glory to God. And that's what we are. Yes. God made us so special and so dynamic. Amen. And gosh, that was awesome. Yes. Listen, we're going to be picking up where we left off last week. If you didn't join us last week, I would admonish you to go back and listen because yes. that's the foundation. And we're going to take off on a rocket ship I'm now. Excited. We're going to be talking about supernatural strength today. Yes. And so we're going to talk about supernatural strength. David, King David, had a secret to supernatural strength. And we're going to see a gentleman today that went with David in a cave called Adullam and ended up being the general of Solomon's Mm -hmm. army. So he was down and out. He was distressed. There's a secret to strength. And that's what we're going to learn. And of course, this is the series Tender Heart, Tender Hearted. And it's an incredible series. And again, if you... If you, if you didn't watch last week's, watch last week's. We're just going to take off. And we're going to start running right now with God and the anointing of Good. God. But listen, supernatural strength comes from being tenderheartedness. And as we said last week, having a tender heart is totally the opposite of what the world thinks having a tender heart is. It is being a warrior. It is being a person of God's integrity. It's being a person of God's character. It's It's being a God. It's not weak at all. It's supernatural Mm -hmm. strong. And that's what we're going to look at today. In fact, today we're going to be praying for you. We're going to have a testimony, a healing testimony of this situation that we're talking about. And all about supernatural strength today. And there's so much more. So thanks for joining us. Listen, there's something totally different to people that are tender hearted. There's a strength of spirit a spiritual strength that comes across. Now, this is balance now. And and so many people say, oh, what is tenderheartedness is you're just getting run over by the truck and everybody's just running you over. Actually, no. Tenderheartedness means means you're a warrior. You have the strength of a warrior Mm -hmm. and you're loving. You have the power of God and the gifts of the Spirit operating. That's what we're going to be talking about. Hopefully get through this this week. We're going to be talking next week about the strength and the power of the spiritual gifts on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Don't get me started on that right now. All successful men and women that walked with God in the Bible had this characteristic of tender heart or tender heartedness. And it's absolutely amazing. Being tender hearted is this. Here's a good definition. It's being strong and mighty. I'm going to say it again. It's being strong and mighty, loving and forgiving, full of wisdom, strength, and hope. Wow, that's good. You are walking like your father. You are walking like Jesus. You are walking with the Holy Spirit daily. That is the strength on the inside of being tenderhearted. And I think you're hot. It's a well-balanced, full of God's life, power, and victory. (laughs) Come on. Preach it, Pastor David. The point of it is this. Being, we, we talked about last week being full of supernatural strength. And that's what we're going to be camping on today. Yes. Being full of strength. And years ago, the Lord said this to me. I want to teach you about being tenderhearted. And I'm like, really, the world says that you're going to get, you know, tenderhearted. Oh, you're just so weak and you're so... No. But as we learned last week, having the tender heart and humility is a supernatural strength working on the inside of you. Again, I can't say it enough. You need to listen to last week's message to get a wonderful foundation and a launching pad because God's ways are higher than our ways and i can't say it enough as we walk in this life the the weakness of the world they'll try to put on us like you have to hoard everything up because you're not going to get anything else no when god says freedom i've given you freedom to give and i will give you more you want to have life Give me your life. Give up your life. There's a lot of opposites, and we can get into all that teaching today. But our foundation scripture from last week is this, Psalm 1835. How did David become so strong? What was his secret to strength? This is one of them. We're going to have, we're gonna unfold some more today. Is this. Verse 35. You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Come on, David. And the right hand upholds, and your right hand upholds and sustains me. 
thank God when we're walking through this world, we have it today. Mm -hmm. Your gentleness, and here's his key. He's saying, God, your gentleness makes me great. The Amplified, of course, says your gentleness, your graciousness, your gracious response when I pray makes me great. Mm. Today we're talking about supernatural strength. and We want to talk about a gentleman that started off homeless without a home. He had he was scared. He was full of fear. He was broke down and out. And, we can, <laughs> and he went to a cave called Adullam. Now, in this cave, we're going to give you a scripture. In this cave went 400 other men with David. Now, mm. David at this time wasn't king yet. He was escaping Saul. Saul wanted to kill him. And so all these men and women went to this cave called Adullam. Mm. And here we're going to 1 Samuel chapter 22, and it says this. David departed from there for where he was at and escaped to the cave of Adullam. Now, the word here, Adullam, and the Hebrew means God's justice. God's justice. And so going into this cave, he, they're, they're getting God's justice, which means they're getting God's strength, mm. God's help, God, everything from God. They're seeking him first, like you said last week. I remember last week you said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. All these things are added to you. Yes. That is where they were going. We're going to move on. They're in this cave. And when his brothers, David's brothers, and all his father's house heard it, they went down there to him. And everyone who is in distress, everyone who is in debt, everyone, that's women too, who is bitter in soul, gathered to him. So these were down and outers. These were like the lowest of the low. He became the commander over them. And they were with him 400 men. Now, this place, Cave of Adullam, you need to study it out. We won't have time today. But it's an incredible place where David went. He knew where his help came from. And he went there to seek God. And all these people wanted to seek God with him. That alone shows you the strength of heart. Having a strong heart is not being weak. That's right. Having a strong heart means I love you. Yes. I love you. I love you. No matter what you do to me, I love you. And that's Good. what God is, so unconditional in his love. Amen. Having supernatural strength of heart. One of the men, in, for the sake of time, in this cave with him was a man named Benaniah. Benaniah was an incredible warrior later on, but here, as he went into the cave, we know he didn't. But when he came out of that cave with David and the 400 men, and we learned last week, and we learned as we've studied the Bible, these were David's mighty men. Mm. All of his mighty men came from that cave. All the people that were down and out, distressed and in debt. They had debts on their head. Wow. All those people came out a different person. Mm. Hey, they went in one way, they came out a different way. And when we come to the Lord Jesus Christ, we go in, yes. Lord, we forgive me. I accept you as my Savior, as my yes. Lord. You come out a different person. And then it's our job as Christians, as believers, to renew this mind yes. so we don't slide back into the ways we were in before yes. and the world's ways. And that's having a tender heart. That's, that's the strength so of a tender heart. Yes. You know, the key to this is that when something bad happened mm, to you, mm. you need to know that God didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me say it again. God didn't do it. If something bad happened to you, God didn't do it. John mm. 10.10 10 yeah, says, yeah, yeah. the thief comes to yeah. steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. But Jesus came to give us life and life everlasting. Yeah. So it's important yes. that when something bad happened to you, yeah. to keep that tender heart, yes. knowing that God didn't do it. Mm. Because if you harden your heart that's towards good. God, then that you, that's not good. That's right. And there's a scripture verse on that. Hebrews 3.15 says, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in rebellion. Mm -hmm. It's important That's, that yeah, when yeah, we are going through yeah, hard times, especially yeah. even right now and today and what we're going through, don't harden your heart. That's good. Because then you get into rebellion. Mm. You've got to keep your heart tender. Yeah. 
tender towards God yeah. so then you can hear his yeah. voice yeah. and you're following the Holy Spirit yeah. of God and he's going to help you out of any circumstance yeah. or situation that you're in. That's right. And that's what we're going to hear about today. Yeah. yeah, I like that word. Keeping that tender heart. I like that word tender and I, it's not on my notes, but it's interesting. Yes. You know, when you want, and, and you know, I eat a lot of vegetables and well, if I go up to an apple tree, and I grab an apple off the tree and I'm like, whoa, that's not tender at all. It's hard because it's not ripe yet. Ah. It's not ripe yet. Yeah. I mean, and I eat a lot of vegetables, but if you are if you like to eat meat, you know when you're cutting that meat, if it's tender, it's like, wow, it's just falling off. the. It's just, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's good. So that's where we want to be. That means yes. that we're right with God. That's right. And, you know, the strength of a tender heart does what's right. Yes. I said the strength of a tender heart does what's right. Yes. No matter what a circumstance look like, your yes. character is building strong. Yes. You know, and coming out of this cave, I'm getting back to this, this cave here. Yeah. Going into the cave, they knew, you know, that David had the spirit of God on him. Hmm. And so if anything, they were going into this cave knowing that when they go in, the spirit of God's going with David. I work. I'm just, <laughs> we're going in there too. And it's interesting. Um, when you look at the spirit of, of God, and I like what uh, Isaiah said, and, and Samuel, of course, anointed King David with the, the oil and with the Holy Spirit, and that means that the plan of action, mm. you can go, you'd say a lot of different things, but I like Isaiah 11, 2, and 4. It's one of my favorite scriptures, I, my go-to scripture. It says this, and we have to remember, when you go into places to be with God, you come out a different way. Here That's it is. Right. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, and you can confess, you confess this over yourself if you wanted yes. to. But the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him or upon you. Mm -hmm. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, that's strength, that's having a tender heart. The spirit of counsel and might, that word might is the word for strength. Yeah. There's something about, and, and I know the Lord's unveiling more and more yes. through my Christian life about the spirit of might. It's good. The spirit of might, the spirit of boldness that's on us as Christians. Yes. Not to put people down, but to lift them up. Yes. It takes it takes a stronger spirit to lift someone up, to yeah. forgive them, mm -hmm. to keep them going, and to push them up to a place with God. And that's yes. what we're talking about here. But a spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord. So Ben and I, getting back to Ben and I, he came out of that cave a new person. The word Benaniah is an interesting word and name in the Hebrew language. It means to build. Back then, they were really into names. Yeah, it's and true. And there was a reason yeah. for everyone's name. Yeah, yeah. So this is good. Yeah. Benaniah yeah. means to build, as to construct a building, mm. as to put something together. So the word Benaniah means to build, to put something together. It's the same word. Well, listen to me. It's the same word when Adam and Eve, well, I'll just back up a second. When Adam, when God put Adam to sleep, he Benaniahed a rib out of Adam to build wow. Eve. That's the same word, Ben and I. That's so good. It's to build. Wow. And I believe God's, the spirit of Ben and I is in us today. Yes. The spirit Amen. to build us up, the yes. spirit to make us stronger, the spirit, oh, let me start on it. Anyway, let's go back to Ben and I. That's so good. Well, yeah. you know, having that. Yeah is being in the secret place, mm. what we have been talking That's about. Yeah. If you'll stick in that secret place yeah. and constantly be in that secret yeah. place, that's where God can mold us and keep yeah. that tenderness in our I heart. I love it. We need it. That's yes. a strength. Remember, tenderheartedness is a strength. Yes. Well, let's look at Benaniah and, and wrap this thing up here. But yes. Benaniah... He was one of David's mighty men. So we, we said that 400 men came out of it. The top 30 of those men, what, he was actually one of the top three, Ben and I was. But listen to where a down and out person comes into supernatural spiritual strength. Let's read this in 2 Samuel 23, 20 through 25. And here's our superhero of his day, Ben and I. Ben and I, the son of Jehoiada, the valiant fighter from Kazeel, performed great exploits. He struck down Moab's two mightiest warriors. He also went down into, let's back that up. He struck down Moab. Moab, King Moab, he had an incredible army. Mm -hmm. So here you have Benaniah, 
King David, of course, at that time, Benaniah is one of his mighty men. He knew that God had a supernatural strength. And we're going to give an incredible testimony in just a second here. Supernatural strength. We're going to give you the secret how he got that strength in a second here too. He went in and said, listen, David, David's going after the Moabs, Moabites. And David go, and, and I bet you Benaniah was like this. Words are two mightiest men. I'm going to take them down because God's with me. God's giving me supernatural strength because I'm acting in faith. Mm. So he struck down Moab's two of the mightiest warriors. He also went down into a pit on a snowy day and killed a lion. Mm. He went down into a pit on a snowy day and killed a lion. Wow. I don't know if the, the lion was after the village and the village was like, Where's this lion, this lion is really harassing us and stealing our sheep and everything else. And I mean, he is ferocious. Not as ferocious as my God. Where is he? Well, he yeah. was down in, he's down in a pit. Well, I'm going after him. And he's, he's, he's no more. Mm. I mean, that is the spirit of might. Boy, oh boy, I feel the Lord want me to teach more on this uh, as I taught years ago. You need to. <laughs> and that, let's, verse 21, because there's so much we, we can spend yes. all day on Benaniah. Yeah. There's such yeah. a big subject here. And he struck down a huge Egyptian. Although the Egyptian had a spear in his hand, Benaniah went against him with a club. He grabbed a baseball bat and said, Okay, you got a, you got a spear? I'll get my baseball bat. He snatched up the spear from the Egyptian's hand and killed him with his own spear. I, I, I could see Benaniah walking in there with his baseball bat. This guy's coming after this big, huge spear. He drops the bat, takes the spear, and struck him. The spirit of supernatural strength, the spirit of might. Come on, Holy Ghost minister. Yeah. Verse 22, such were the exploits, and there was more, such were the exploits of the son of Benadiah. He was too also famous as three mighty warriors. He held a great honor than the 30, and David put him in charge of his bodyguards. So David's personal bodyguards, mm -hmm. this is the guy that, that trained him. This is the guy that gave him strength and taught him how to have this supernatural strength. I'll tell you what, there's so much more here. Uh, David, anytime the prophets and the priests, and this is just highlighting it, anytime David say, I want the priests and the prophets and Benaniah. Mm. So he was a very godly man and he loved God with all of his hearts. So we don't have time to get into that. He backed Solomon when David said, Solomon's going to be, he's my son, he's going to be the next king. Benaniah stood up and said, I'm backing Solomon with, 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 with you, David. So this is the strength of spirit he had. And even when Solomon, during his coordination, his army <laughs> was led by Benaniah during the coronation. Benaniah also, when he heard that people had death threats on Solomon, he went after him. Wow. That's spiritual strength. Yeah. Knowing that God is with me no matter where I go, no matter what I do, I have the strength because God will strengthen me. God will back me up yes. and God will put me in that place to do what's right for those in leadership, those around me. I can go off on this. Yes. So anyways, uh, and when David's own uh, commander, David's own car commander of his army came against David, he went after him and slew him. Mm. Talk about a powerful man with a heart after God's man of God, yes. after God's anointing, after God, after God. Yes. That's how we are. And that's when we're tender hearted. We tap into that spirit of might and that supernatural strength God yes. has for us. And so then Solomon put Abedani in charge of all the army of Israel wow. because of what the acts of Abedani and his tender heart to know what's right, to do what God wanted him to do, That's and good. to just protect God's people, to protect God's anointing. Mm -hmm. I can go off on this. Yeah. For the love of his king, his nation, came this supernatural strength, and I believe he learned it from David. Now, if you go to our website and on, the, on, our, on our, our YouTube page, you're going to see uh, uh, scriptures of strength, yeah. strength scriptures. And I put them on a few years back. And uh, this year, we had someone, we had uh, Martha, uh, Marguerite, Marguerite, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Marguerite. I know she's watching from the Netherlands, from Holland. And she got on there 
and she got into God's word and she listened to those the scriptures, the strength scriptures over and over and yes. over again. And we need them every day. Yes, we do. In fact, I needed them a week or so ago. I put them on and this is how, how funny it was. I was actually here. I was actually studying and I said, I need those strength scriptures. And it's 10 minutes. It's 30 strength scriptures. And for 10 minutes, they go, you know, over, I, I the same three times, you know, and it, it just keeps, it keeps doing it for 10 minutes long. I did it four times and I was like to myself, you know what? I need to make this longer for people. I'm so glad so you we did. did a new one a week yes. ago that's an hour long because yes. there's a couple thousand views in the other, but an hour long because I didn't want to keep turning the thing on okay, again. Okay, well, let me just so, tell you, the, just the other night, yeah. I woke up and I needed strength. Yeah. And so what you had just posted on YouTube with the music in the background, I listened to that and it yeah. put me right to Glory sleep to and I felt Glory so much better afterwards. Yeah, when Glory I woke up. Well, we so give, good. We're, 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 we'll give God Be all the glory for it. Yes. But she listened to this teaching yes. about strength. And, and, and these, are, these are the secrets of David. He confessed strength. He built himself up and encouraged himself in strength. Yeah. But this is her testimony. And again, Marguerite, thank you so much for sending this. This yeah. is what she says right here. I have used your scriptures on strength, the 30, almost every day for the last three weeks because our youngest son had a very serious accident on his job. He fell from the top of a building downstairs between six and seven meters and was brought to the hospital in very critical condition. Mm -hmm. The doctors gave us not much hope and told us that he would probably die. He was in a coma for three weeks. Wow. Then he slowly started to wake up. First, I used many healing scriptures, mm -hmm. videos to speak over him, then the strength scriptures, and finally strengthers, strength script, uh, scriptures about the mind because he fell on his head and they said he had probably much brain damage but of course our god knows everything much better preach it girl yes. perfect and since last week he is back home and he can talk walk speak read knows everything from before the accident from day one we decided to believe God's report instead of the doctor's. Yes. And he has come with his healing power showing his love and faithfulness. So we have grown good. in faith a lot and are so grateful for our amazing God. So thank you for those videos on strength and healing you have on your YouTube channel. It was building my faith and God is faithful to his promises. Greetings and blessings, Marguerite. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Listen, at that moment, when that happened, she had a choice to make. Yeah. You exactly. have a choice to make. Yes. When something bad happens, yes. you have a choice to make. Yes. Keep your heart tender towards God. Yeah. See what God has for you. And she followed her heart. Yes. And did what was right yes. for her son. That's right. Wow. Be encouraged. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. What the enemy meant for evil, yeah. God can turn into good. That's right. That's right. And today, yeah. with what we're going through today, yeah. Yeah. He's turning things yeah. into good. God, yeah. and when you keep that tender heart yeah. towards Him, yeah. get in that secret place yeah. with Him. That's right. That's right. He'll show you how to get out of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna pick up here next week. Yes. We're gonna pick up here next week. Praise and we are going Lord. to be showing you these scriptures, how to how to operate in the scripture so that you can be strong yeah. and that's these are the scriptures i use to stay healthy these are the scriptures yeah. i use when i'm weak because yeah. the bible says when you're weak say you're strong there's so much more we're going to continue yeah. on this next week so i'm excited and about me this too. 
Ooh. Glory to God. So again, Marguerite, thank you for that. Yes. We'll probably read it again next Praise time. Praise the Lord. And God bless you. God bless your son. Yes. And thank you, Lord. It's a time Hallelujah. to rejoice over your son. And yes. thank God. The word of God works for all of us yes. the same. Yes. And we give God all the Amen. glory and for And we it. encourage you. Yeah. If you have more testimonies of things yeah. that yeah. have yeah. helped you through this ministry, yeah. Yeah. through the Believer's Family, let us know. Yeah. So we can share That's those right. testimonies. That's we right. all need to be encouraged. Yeah, because Jesus is Lord. Yeah. I said Jesus is Lord. Jesus Hallelujah. is our healer, our yeah. provider, our protector. He has everything. Amen. He is everything. He's the answer to all your questions. Yes. And if you've never asked the Lord Jesus to be your Lord, and Savior, to be that strength to you, be that best friend you need, be everything all in all. Yes. Let's just lift our hand and let's just say this Glory. prayer after, and then repeat after me with yes. your heart. Say this, Father God. Father God. I believe in you. I believe in you. And I trust you. And I trust you. Thank you. Thank you. For sending your son Jesus. For sending your son Jesus. To this earth. To this earth. Just for me. Just for me. He showed me. He showed me. His strength. His strength. His ability. His ability. His healing power. His healing power. And it's working today. And it's working today. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. I call you my Lord. I call you my Lord. Because you were raised on the third day. Because you were raised on the third day. From death, just from for death. me. Just for me. Jesus. Jesus. I say you're my Lord. I say you're my Lord. You're my Savior. You're my Savior. Take my life. Take my Do life. Do something with it. Do something I with it. I dedicate my life. I dedicate my life. Fully to you. Fully to you. Today. Today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Confetti glory, everywhere. Glory, glory, glory. Confetti, <laughs> confetti, confetti, confetti. Confetti everywhere. God bless you. If that's <laughs> yes, your first time saying that celebrate. prayer. Listen, go on our website, believersinternational.church. Yes. Brand new to Jesus. There's yes. so many materials for all of us. We yes. just keep putting things on there to help encourage you, yes. strengthen you. They're all free. Take them and use them, and we'll give God glory for that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That was so good today. Well, if you've been encouraged, you're part of our Believer's family. Yes. We thank you so much much. for all your giving. Thank you for giving. Your faithfulness. You're led by God. Uh, Yes. You're led by God to give. A faithful man abounds in blessings. That's right. So please just get on there and give into this ministry. There's different yeah, ways yeah. that you can give through PayPal, through the online giving, yeah, yeah. ACH. You can give through yeah, your checking account. Yeah. We make it very easy. Yeah. And we're just grateful for all your giving. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. You want to pray today? Yeah, let's pray. Yes, let's pray for I'll our tell you what, some, some people need jobs. Yeah. We believe God for jobs for people and they get jobs. We have job faith. We have increased faith over your finances. We have protection faith. We operated it. You operated it too. Glory to God. Father, we just thank you for all the givers as you're leading them. No pressure. As you're leading them and guiding them and directing them. You're leading them because you want to bless them. Because Jesus, you said, give and it shall be given back to you. You know, as you tithe, God said he would open the windows of heaven. So, Father, we thank you. We speak increase. We speak increase, increase, increase over every single person that is watching. We thank you for the blood of Jesus We speak that over all their finances and everything that has their name on it. We thank you for these gifts of love. Jesus, you said in the New Testament, you receive these gifts of love. And we thank you, Father God. This work is for your kingdom. And we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Kick over the mic. (laughs) <laughs> Hallelujah. Is that our dance today? That's, uh, I don't know. I I, I, that, I don't know. That's kind of hard to do in your car though. You know, to do a chair dance, but I think we should I think we should just do a couple of the ones we've done in the past. Yeah. Of course, uh, what's your favorite so far? I like to put them together. So oh. I like the Q tip. Q tip. Q tip. Q tip. Check, Check the door. door. Check the door. Check the door. Check the, the door. door. Confetti. I think confetti is your favorite. Yeah. Confetti. confetti is your favorite. Confetti. Well, we'll have a new dance move. And of course, you remember Barry the Nut. Barry oh, the yeah. Nut. Bury the Nut. Bury the Nut was last week. So 
Hey, listen, these guys are goofy. Yeah, we're goofy. We're serious about the things of God, but yes. you've got to have fun. God created fun. Remember you saying That's that. That's right. So glory to God. Guys, have fun with your life. enjoy we, your life. We Keep love you so much. that tender so much. heart yes. towards God. Yes. He's you are strong. Get you through. And next week you're going to learn some things about strength. woo You're strong in the Lord and, and the, the power, power of, of his, his might. On the count of three, let's say for the kingdom, because that's what we do everything for. Yes. On the count of three, one, two, three, for, for the, the kingdom. kingdom. God bless you, and we'll see you real soon. God Ciao. bless you. Ciao.